Hello, and thank you for joining us to learn another of the many tips and tricks that will help you get the most out of QuoteWorks. Today, we'll explain a simple technique for updating a QuoteWorks print layout so that a company logo will print at the top of every page instead of just the first page. We have a three-page quote, and notice that the QuoteWorks logo only appears at the top of the first page. A logo usually prints on just the first page when it has been inserted as a picture field in the report header section of the print layout. If we put the logo in the page header section instead, it will print on every page. We just need to be careful about a few special considerations. We'll start by editing our layout. Since we know the page header section prints at the top of every page, the obvious step is to put our logo into the page header section. So let's do that next. We'll expand the page header section so we have enough room for the logo. Then we need to move the column headings back to the bottom. Next, we'll copy the logo from the report header section and paste it into the page header section. This gets us pretty close, but we still have those special considerations. To understand them, let's preview the document and see where we're at. We can immediately see the problem on page one. Pages two and three look perfect though. So what's going on on page one? We have the logo printing twice and the second copy is in the middle of the page. That's because we now have the logo in the report header and the page header. So can we just remove the old logo from the report header? That would get us down to just one copy of the logo, but since the report header always prints first, the logo would still be left in the middle of the page. The ideal solution would be to use the report header section for printing the logo on the first page and then use the page header section to print the logo on each additional page. We can do this using section filters. We'll go back to the designer to edit our filters and we'll edit the filter for the page header section. We want the filter to allow printing of this section only when we're beyond page one. So we can use the following expression. We'll start with if, then we'll refer to the system field for page, which will be our page number. Then we'll use the operator greater than and the number one. So our, our expression now says if the page number is greater than one. That will now be the requirement for this section to print. So we should be pretty close now. Let's take a look. We can see that we now have all of the logos in just the right spot, but we still have one more problem. We've lost our column headings on page one. That's because the column headings are in the page header, which we have now excluded from page one. We can fix that by copying them up to the report header, which is still being printed on page one. So we'll copy them from the page header, and we'll expand the report header and paste them in. Now when the report header prints at the top of the first page, it includes the logo and the column headings. And on each additional page, when the page header prints, it will include the logo and the column headings. Now we can use this exact same technique to repeat any of our header information at the top of every page just by copying it from the report header and pasting it into the page header. And now the entire header repeats on every page. Thank you for joining us to learn more about getting the most out of QuoteWorks.